Hey guys, look back to another video. Well, the final of a series that I've kind of not really forgot about. Let me give you all some content. I've been making what ifs, but without a part two, I've been rushing out these ideas. They're really good, but it's not. I've not made a part two, but finally in a long time we are doing a continuation off of a series, and this is the final. You guys like this series, but I left you guys on hold for a long time. But now we're back. So let's go to retap. After basically Naruto came up and helped, or well, Deku came up and helped, um, him and Tokiyami, well, a buffed version of him, were basically charging, well, basically charging into the battlefield. Now, this to speed things along, you know what I mean? He's basically blitzing it. As in the last time, we said that basically All for One is actually attacking New Way and the um in this area i forgot how, what's the name of it but basically the, it's the training camp you know what i mean he's attacking there the ua and the training camp now of course naruto he is really holding his own bodying everybody <laughs> even helping soto azaiwa in the mix of it of course like bro he's busted busted <laughs> even the tail beast well, the tail is actually looking at Karam because, like, he actually he's actually helping Naruto by giving him a signature jitsu that Naruto gave him in the last part. If you don't remember, last part, Nar um, Karama gave Naruto the well, basically showed Karama showed Deku the multi shadow clone jitsu that an old friend of Naruto used, well, old friend of um, uh, Karama used to have. So now, so now. They would basically did Naruto. Well, that could basically clap in the battlefield. I really don't need to explain it any other way. Um, there's no way for me to explain it. There's not that could blitz in the battlefield, and there's nothing about that. Now, once all the students are safe, they actually get reports that it's basically a villain uprising out in the city right now, as villains are just running through the city, causing chaos and havoc. And Naruto's not having none of that. I doesn't like to see get people hurt. Get well, doesn't like to see people getting hurt. And he's all seeing that UA is getting attacked, and everybody else there, teachers, friends, and he doesn't want to see anybody get hurt. That's his friends or just random people. You know what I mean? And Karama, you know, he's taking liking to it. So he decide, all right, brat, hey kid. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, Karama. All right then. I feel like you're trustworthy enough. Here, I'll lend you my power. So, Naruto would then get access to Karama's full power. Crazy, isn't it? Once they're, well, basically, the teacher's like, all right, we should stay here. I think the heroes are able to deal it at the, um, at UA, you know what I mean? But Naruto's not having none of it. With newfound power, he decides, I'm breaking out of here, and I'm going to UA. Wait, what do you mean? It's too far. You can't get there on foot. Well, like I said, my newfound power. I'll be able to get there. Well, what do you mean? Deku then book it out the building, and you then activate then uh, basically the Nar the Karama clone, not Karama clone, but he would go into KCM. Now, he doesn't have a Sage mode, so I can't give him KCM to. And KCM3, wait, KC, no, KCM3 is from Sage Mode. Yeah, I can't give him KCM3, but I can give him KCM2. Now, Naruto, he would basically go into KCM2, and he start pushing, bushing, bushing. What? I think, if I remember correctly, I made Naruto come in um, contact with this, the Sage of Six Path. So, just because... I feel like it's appropriate. The Sage of Six Paths would also talk to Naruto and give him the power to actually go this um, KCM3. Like, come on now. Come on. Make this man's full power already. <laughs> Anyways, with this power, Naruto would basically summon a KCM cloaked Karama and he'll start rushing, booking it all the way to the city. The city is basically in ruins like rockets just shooting down explosions buildings falling all in a mess so naruto i mean 
Deku would clap his hands together doing a multi shadow clone jitsu. Kagemoshi no jitsu! Summoning thousands on thousands of clones of himself. These clones start running through the city, taking on every single villain that comes in its way. And so, he'll then rush over to Yue when he's not in the Karma Club, because that would lead to lots of destruction. He would then rush over to Yue, seeing as like, like, like on top of the, alright, so like, you know, in front of Yue, like a right side portion has basically been blown off and on fire. So Naruto would do a water style jutsu, like a water, I think it's like a, I think it's called a water wave, I forgot. A water style jutsu is to take out, take out the fire as he doesn't want to do it, things to like, you know, expand, you know what I mean? When he would basically get into the front part of UA, he would see this villain that he was just going at it. So he would do a Shogun Jitsu, helping the heroes out, making it so they're easily able to defeat the villains that are really overpowering them. So he then summoned more clones to search through the building, help any survivors, and take down any other villains. If have to, kill them. And then he'd get to the back because that's where the most damage is happening. Once you get to the back, he would see All Might and All Four and boxing it out. All Might would see Deku like, wait, Deku? But then he would get punched in the face by All for One. Huh. Is this your successor? No, can't be. He doesn't have any quirks in him. Huh. Alright, then I'll just take you out myself. Basically, he would rush over to Deku just to Take him out, but he, Deku would just dodge this and activate KCM Cloak again. Now, all four would be confused. All my would be confused. Is this a, a new power for Deku? Deku would then say, I'm here to end this in your reign of terror. All for one. Ho oh, oh. ho. A formidable opponent, I see. Though he may not be your successor, All Might. I'll make sure I'll be able to find out what this boy's power is. No, it's not a quirk. I'm not able to sense it with my abilities, but I'll be able to find out what his power is. Take out of him, and it shall be mine. So, we get into a fish clash. A fist clash. Yes, Naruto was legit. It was empowering over all for one, but we gotta, we gotta make this story progression. Like, come on, guys. We can't just do him dirty that fast so they would basically be fist clashing over and over and over and over and over causing a huge crater so some of naruto's clones would actually come to retrieve um all all might as they're gonna bring him over somewhere else so he can rest up and basically heal him so now they're just still boxing at it they're throwing hands bing 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 over and over and over and over and over. Then, all four decided to use a <laughs> uh, new technique as he would decide to go off all or nothing, side himself with some sort of purple syringe with like, well, it's a syringe with some purple liquid inside of it. After he would do that, he would start buffing up his body basically regenerating all the attacks that were just on him just now his bones reconstructing and he's gotten much bigger the size of a nomu his body mass much huger that's bad grammar his body mass is bigger than before his muscles expanded his it some of his skin is kind of purplish but now he's able to use more quirks than he had before He's dodging more of Naruto's attacks even more. And he starts shooting beams at him. This is kind of annoying Naruto, but he decides, you know what? It's finally time to end this. My newfound power and what Karama showed me. I'll kill you. All for one. He would then get, he would then get two clones to help him charge up something. This is no Rasengan. The Rasengan Shuriken. He then throw it at all for one. Often think he can easily dodge this. But once he would come out to dodge it, well basically no would easily to like take the attack. But once he would come out to stop the attack, his fingers would get cut off. And once that would happen, 
he would know that it's over for him. This Rasang Shuriken. This power. Dang it. If I had more of those shrinks on me, I could have. I could have. Just maybe. Damn it all. It would be a huge explosion of all for one getting cut in half. His body basically deflating as this power of his is gone. Deku would then basically take his mask, this thing off, all for one, looking at him, even though he can't, it looks like he can't really look back at him. Ill, as a villain you are, you really are disgusting. But, you deserve to die. <coughs> you may kill me, but my villain, my ideology, nah, well, he didn't even have an ideology. But like, even if you kill me, villains will still run across the city. And you won't be able to do anything about it. Soon there'll be another all for one. Though no quirk power like mine. But they'll be powerful enough, just maybe. With the technology that I have stashed away, they'll be able to beat you. And every single hero out here. From that, Deku would just stomp on the all for one's head, crushing it. Now, I actually was gonna make Naruto the beat Gamma, but that didn't seem unnecessary. That seemed unnecessary until now. I think it was Gino Mont Montica, whatever that dude's name is. He would then appear basically out of the ground, a hulking beast at that. So Naruto decided, all right, then I guess I gotta to test this t attack on you, beat you, Gamma. But. <laughs> Naruto went, I mean, Deku went a bit overboard. This would take off, like, the whole top of UA. Good thing nobody else was in there. <laughs> Killing the villains also. And now the villains are just running away. The sun's coming up, villains are running away. And, yeah. It looks like the, basically the day's been kind of saved, actually. Well, definitely. Oma would come to see Deku as Deku's in a... It's a golden cloak. As other heroes would come, appear just to look at Deku as he's just... He's basically the new symbol of hope. A new hero. Now, of course, Naruto's clones would then be ordered to actually help rebuild the building. That would actually take about only a month. So then, basically, school would be back in session. Naruto... Well, I mean, Deku. I'm gonna say Naruto. No, I'm gonna say De Deku. I say Deku. Deku, because of his hard work and being able to take down not only All for One, but Gianto Montaka. I forgot how you pronounce his name. But being able to take those two down, he'd become an official S rank top hero. Top hero at that. The best hero out there. Being able to take down All for One. <laughs> All my had a struggle doing that. He's the new top hero. And because now Deku does has he has his hero license, he doesn't have to take the well anymore. He doesn't have to take the school anymore. Though, Bakugo, he would be mad. Really mad at that. As Deku surpassed him. He's gone. He knew he was more powerful than him. And he was grinding just to get near Deku. Just to have, do more damage like he does, but He's officially passed him. He's basically become the pro hero that he wants to be before him. Deku has passed him and now he can't do anything about it. Though he is sad. Wait, did I say like, um, did I say like he went with Bakugo? Bakugo went with All for One? If I did, I'm going to retcon that and basically say that. No, um, he didn't go, but he did get captured. All right. If I did say that, I mean, I'm retconning it. Now, the day is saved. It's the end of the what if, but for not well, it's, yes, though it's the end of the what if. We still have some things to say, of course. Of Naruto's love life, yes, in the future. Though he's a pro hero, yes, in the future. You guys have kids with Momo? Yes, sir. The marriage, you already know. Like, she.
and basically yeah though there would still be new villains powerful ones at that popping up every day this won't stop naruto from taking them down or any other pro heroes so well yeah this is truly the end of the what if thanks for watching well like and subscribe of course and i thank guys for really sticking up watching this what if series and staying with me with that thanks see y'all later as i'll start recording uh, uh part two to another what if that i have done see y'all peace